Eagerly anticipated fixtures in the English game as two historical heavyweights square up to each other, ready to go blow for blow in what remains one of the game's intense rivalries. There are some that argue, and with some validity, that the significance of this fixture has diminished to a small extent since its heyday back in the 90s and mid-2000s, when these two teams were lapping up the lion's share of silverware season after season. Times have changed since, thanks largely to the emergence of other ambitious teams, but there is no doubt that this remains one of the hottest tickets around. It has the history, it has the hype, and it has always provided high entertainment and the mood is boisterous it is a perfect ambience for the central characters who are ready now to perform well it's as friendly as it can be in the circumstances but you feel the rivalry well exhibition match sounds like an easy ozy game of football peter and a picture perfect occasion until the word pride gets a mention and it's likely to have quite a big say between teams that could easily be sucked into an excuse for another feud. Why let an exhibition match get in the way of that? So these two will be going at it very, very strongly. We have already started here. Out towards the flank. Oh, he'll be annoyed with himself for not getting there. Rice. Great defending, strong and determined. Zinchenko succumbs to the pressure. And the counter is on. Over to the left. That's the end of that. It all started well enough. Bruno Fernandes is on to... He's gone for goal! A real chance and a real let-off. Well, the invitation was there, so he was right, in my opinion, to take it on. Alas, it was a, a technical flaw. Now it's in Ketia. It's a pretty loose pass. Bruno Fernandes. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Odegaard. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Oh, that's delightful. It's loose now, and they want to get it. Gabriel Jesus! Keeper pulls up a fine save. Gabriel Jesus sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Manchester United can counter promptly here. Well read, nice interception. Fabio Vieira. There will be one minute added time. And the whistle goes for half time. Well, perhaps not full of thrills and spills, but a game which has been of a very high level, certainly defensively as both teams walk off unscathed, a tight affair, nil-nil at the break.
So they head in no further forward. The score here still nil-nil. So we're just settling back into this second half. At least there's always a plus side to a scoreless half. Defences are doing what they should, and it's going to take good imagination to break the deadlock here. Zinchenko. Oh, that pass isn't the best. That looks like a preconceived plan. Win the ball and then unleash. A 1-0 lead established. Oh, half-time has been a blessing for this the team. You know, what a great start to the second half. And here's the chance to counter. McTominay. Oh, good ball. Shots on here. Caught offside that time. Gabriel. Gabriel Jesus. Now Odegaard. Whatever happens, that's the kind of movement which raises hope. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. Arsenal showing a little more urgency now, and to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. There is an irresistible, irrepressible look about them here. Spot on, Peter. Hannibal. Oh, that's a... He's had a hit! It's run loose. Can he finish? Well, that is commitment to the cause. <laughs> Shot a goal! Oh, the ball's run loose here. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. <laughs> Odegaard. And it's Rashford. Hannibal! Well, now it's a race for the... It's come back out! And that has earned a few nods of approval from the bench. Substitution in progress. It's their second corner of the game. Now, who's going to be first to this? Now it's McTominay. Loose ball now, and there's a chase on to retrieve it. And he's there to belt it away. Diogo Dallo. 
And he gets rid in a hurry. Manchester United clearly have been instructed to kill this off. Offence is the best form of defence. Oh, the ball's gone astray. And he's hit on Bruno Fernandes! It's in! And this is getting better and better. Yeah, I'd call that transition with bite. They won it back and, and bit hard. After 88 minutes is number eight, Bruno Fernandes. Manchester United could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. Is there still time for a response? Well, I think if they're going to have any hope from here, they'll need to see indicated. the more experienced lads step up to the plate now. And they can counter here. Reguillon. And now the breakaway. And he welcomes it in.